Manhattan tonight on the southern border. We're going to take you there live as Title 42 now set to expire in less than three short hours. Also, Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg is at it yet again. The weak need New York City uh, prosecutor is now buckling to pressure and will now reportedly charge that Marine named Daniel Penny with manslaughter after he restrained a violent, abusive, mentally ill criminal on a New York City subway, protecting fellow passengers that were being threatened. So is this a case of self-defense? If so, is self-defense now illegal? Right here in New York City. By the way, the only normal people in the city are right here in this room. Um, but first, if you listen very, very closely, you can almost hear... I, I am enjoying this way too much. You can almost hear the faint sound, the whimpering, and the total, complete, utter freakout and chaos and mess that is over at CNN Fake News headquarters across town. Now, in case you missed it, they hosted a town hall with former President Trump. It did not go well for Fake News CNN. Now, of course, the moderator in this case, Caitlin Collins, she tried her best to make Trump look bad and appease her, I call it the blue checkmark media cult, you know, this, this group that only talks to themselves and the mob and the media. Uh, they hate any and all things Donald Trump. So instead of focusing on important issues, the economy, foreign policy, et cetera, she spent most of the town hall pelting Trump with old gotcha questions, questions he's answered a hundred times before, mostly on these old issues, debated, discussed to death. Take a look. Do you have any regrets about your actions on January 6th? A Manhattan jury found sure. that you sexually abused the writer E. Jean Carroll and defamed her. You've denied this. But what do you say to voters who say it disqualifies you from being president? Well, there was a tape deposition of you from October in it. You defended the comments that you made on that Excess Hollywood tape about being able to grab women how you want. Do you stand by those comments? Some of your Republican rivals have criticized you for not fulfilling the promises that you made on the campaign trail, like finishing the border wall. So how did voters know that you would get those done if you're reelected? Can you say if you want Ukraine or Russia to win this war? The special counsel's investigation into classified documents that were sure. found at Mar-a-Lago. Why did you take those documents with you when you left the White I House? I had every right to. By the way, she seems like a big fan of Donald Trump's. <laughs> All right, here's where it gets very interesting to CNN fake news is surprised Donald Trump. He came prepared, and the audience, well, they responded in a big way in his favor. Take a look. Why did it take you three hours to tell them to go home? I don't believe it did. Oh, let me pull it out. I have to pull it out. <laughs> Manhattan jury found sure. that you sexually abused the writer E. Jean Carroll and defamed her. You've denied this. But what do you say to voters who say it disqualifies you from being president? Well, there aren't too many of them because my poll numbers just came out and they went up. <laughs> okay. If elected president again, what is the first thing you would do to help bring down the cost to make things more affordable? Drill, baby, drill. <laughs> we had no inflation. We had the lowest energy prices we've had in decades. This country was rocking and rolling. And by the way, we had the most secure border in the history of our Mr. country. Mr. President, we have, have more questions. But we have a very big mental health problem in this country. And again, it's not the gun that pulls the trigger. It's the person that pulls the trigger. And we have to protect our second amendment. Our country is dying. Our country is being destroyed by stupid people, by very stupid people. You once said that using the that using the debt ceiling as a negotiating wedge uh, just could not happen. You you said that when sure. you were in the That's Oval when Office. I was president. To, so why is it different now that you're out of office? Because now I'm not president. <laughs> All right. In spite of the bi bias, Trump was great. He got his points across. He was likable, extremely funny. The crowd loved him, not the anchor. In other words, a nightmare come to life for the producers and contributors at Fake News CNN. They invited Donald Trump to this town hall. And what a shock. Donald Trump showed up, and they weren't ready for Donald Trump. Now, immediately following the debate, well, fake news, CNN, they had their on-air uh, panels spending hours and hours despondent in shock, and some look close to tears even. <laughs> Behind the scenes, there is an apparent revolt among fake news, CNN's emotionally fragile uh, employees, <laughs> especially their left-wing woke anchors. 
uh, by the way, most of whom themselves lied for three long years about Trump-Russia collusion that never happened. Uh, and as we speak, an all-out temper tantrum is underway inside the company from top to bottom. bottom. Can you believe this? A leading presidential candidate, former president, able to voice his opinions on the air. Oh, the horror of such a thing. Now, one highly emotional reporter, I call him a Humpty Dumpty wannabe, some guy named Oliver, uh, attacked his own network, posting this on his weird CNN blog that nobody reads. Quote, it's hard to see how America was served by the spectacle of lies that aired on CNN Wednesday evening. A spectacle of lies on fake news CNN? That sounds like an average night. <laughs> now, according to the Humpty Dumpty Jr., uh, quote, CNN and uh, their new network boss, who might be fired over this, let's see what happens, Chris Lick, are facing a fury of criticism, both internally and externally. Uh, they didn't censor Donald Trump for a whole hour, and now CNN has got to be punished. Needless to say, it's been a rough 24 hours for the media mob and the Democratic Party, with at least one comparison to January 6th. Uh, take a look. We're in a break now from the presidential uh, town hall for, with CNN, Caitlin Collins, and whatever the f they thought they were going to get out of this, they instead have set a match to democracy once again. I saw a bad stand-up comedian with a bunch of people in his cult who love him. Yeah. And that is not American, as far as I'm concerned. That I, is not American. I, and I think we needed a Chiron. This is a lie. This is a lie. This is a lie. This is a lie. I think it was a profoundly irresponsible decision. I don't think that it would... I would be doing my job if I did not say that. He declared war on the truth, uh, and I'm not sure that he didn't win. Wow. How, how did the media mob get this crazy and that triggered? Anyway, for starters, they didn't really have contact with people from different political perspectives because they live in their ultra-liberal areas, their bubble in New York City, the, the D.C. swamp. Uh, they went to ultra-liberal schools. They had liberal uh, professors, their colleagues, their friends. They live in a liberal bubble. Uh, they sing liberal kumbaya songs together. Um, they exist in one big far-left echo chamber, and so hearing from any conservative is jarring to them, triggering to them, especially if that conservative is not always politically correct and not easily intimidated or silenced by their insults, their accusations. And as we all know by now, Donald Trump is going to be Donald Trump. But here is what really makes those so-called journalists so mad. Despite all of their dire predictions, Donald Trump was a very successful president way, way, way more competent than this guy that's president today that doesn't know it's Thursday night. Now, that's why Biden is now losing to Trump by a large amount in a brand-new poll. As it turns out, when your livelihood and your retirement and your safety and your security is at risk, when China's taking on America's role as the world's leader with their alliances with Russia, Iran, uh, and others, uh, I guess the guy with the mean tweets or comments uh, that might be politically incorrect doesn't seem to matter too much. So maybe fake news CNN should really be thanking Congressman Byron Donalds for bringing them a dose of reality last night. Look at this. First of all, town halls are for the voters, not for the press, not for the person who's the moderator. Caitlin spent more time interjecting her own viewpoints or her own look, views on the situation. Me, the, the, those are actually whoa, whoa, facts. Now, facts. now are you hold on? Are you guys not going to interject your well, views on here? Do I get a chance to <laughs> right, speak but now? If you're speaking okay, falsely, wait a second, wait a second, those were wait facts. A the town hall is for the president to speak to the voters of New Hampshire, not for this back and forth well, that's with, not with true. media. Who that's number that? one. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.